Hey guys, what's going on? It's Flashfire, and this is my review of set number 76131, uh, Avengers HQ. This set includes 699 pieces and has six minifigures in it. Seven, if you include this tiny little figure of Ant-Man. But I don't really count that, so six minifigures. There's a lot going on in this set, so let's check it out. First, we're going to look at the minifigures. The first figure we have is the Ant-Man I was talking about. I don't really count this as a minifigure because it's just one of the trophy pieces. But I guess this is the only way that they could get Ant-Man to shrink, I guess. But they don't even inc include the actual Ant-Man figure in this set, so it doesn't make any sense. But... Here, you can see it has fine Ant-Man printing, the best they could do for this small of a scale. And he's in his Quantum Realm suit, which I don't really like as an inclusion. The Quantum Realm suits were kind of weird to have in most of the sets, and they didn't wear it for that much of the movie. So I don't know why they had it in there. But there's no printing on the back at all, and this is all you get for this figure. So let's look at the next one. Here we have an Outrider figure, we've gotten many other ones of these, and it's exactly the same as any of the other Outriders. The same legs, the same thing on the back, and it has the same printings on the head and torso. And here we have a Nebula minifigure, which would be great, but she's in her Quantum Realm suit, which is really annoying. It would have been great to have a, a Nebula figure with her regular uh, clothes on, but... Yeah, this is what we get. All the Quantum Realm suits are exactly the same, and the ne Nebula face print isn't anything special. Here we have a Captain Marvel minifigure. This is a pretty cool minifigure. It's a Captain Marvel one if you don't already have one. The printings are good. They're very accurate to Captain Marvel, what she wears. And if you take a look on the back, you take off her hair. Here's her other face expression, a more happy face. And here's the one on the front again, just regular face. Not much to this figure either. This set does not have the best of figures in it. Now here is, I would say, the best figure in the set. It's the Iron Man Mark 85 figure. A lot of people say it's very similar to the Mark 50 figure, but there are actually a lot of different printings with it. The arms are gold, and there's a lot more gold printing throughout it than the Mark 50 figure. And the printings on the back and on the torso are, they, they're similar, but there are very subtle differences to them, which is nice. If we lift up his helmet right here, you can see his face print. If we turn him around, take off his helmet, you can see the heads-up display face print, which isn't any different than any other Iron Man figures we've had recently. But yeah, I just like this many figures, uh, torso and legs, and all the printing on them. Now moving on to the big figs, we have, the first one we have here is Hulk. This is kind of underwhelming. We don't have the Hulk that's on the box art, the one that's in his uh, suit that he wore throughout all of Endgame. We just have this regular Hulk with the blue pants, no printing anywhere here, just on the face. And there he goes. As I was saying, not the best Hulk figure that we could have gotten in this set. We could have had the purple and gray suit, which would have been awesome. And he doesn't really look like Professor Hulk in this, in this, uh, in the print that they have on the face. It just kind of just looks like regular Hulk, so that's not great. And the final figure we have here is the Thanos fi big fig, and. He has a hammer for some reason, which he never uses in the movie, which is odd. Um, yeah, that was kind of weird, but he has his helmet. He has arm. He actually does have arm printing, which is cool. It's his armor. And this Thanos is pretty much the same other than his armor than the previous Thanos we got in Infinity War. And yeah, not much to him. Overall, the minifigures in this set aren't the best. There are some good ones, and there are some bad ones. I know we can't get anything, everything that we want in this set, but they could have done better with the minifigures. Now let's take a look at the set. First, let's look at this helicopter on top of the set. 
It's a nice helicopter, but I don't remember anyone flying in a helicopter during Endgame. <laughs> Especially Nebula, which is who you're supposed to put in here. It's kind of cool. You can lift this up. You can put a minifigure in there. There's a little piece. I think this is a sticker piece. Yeah. On the... Uh, for the control pad in the helicopter. And this spins. A uh, regular helicopter. Now, in the garage, you can actually... Let's lift this up. You can lift this, the garage open, just like that. And there's a little car in here that you can pull out. This car is pretty cool. It's a nice Avengers car. Still not seen in the movie, but I guess it's fine. It's got uh, stud shooters on top. Boom. You know how those work. And, yeah, not much to this car. I guess it was just a... Uh, keep in the garage or that would have been really empty but let's put them back in there and close that up for now they're also there we go they're also stud shooters on the top of the building here and here those work the same as the other ones I showed you there's a big stud shooter on the top of the helicopter I'm not going to show you that because studs are going to go everywhere but there's also a spring loaded shooter over here you can spin it however you want. You can angle it however you want. Not going to show you that either. You guys know how that works by now. Now let's take a look at this part of the compound. Let's take a little bit of a better look. Let's move this down. Not make that fall. And there we go. Here you have a little conference room in there. And down here you have a little computer in there you have a uh, passcode to be able to open this door which you can open and in there you can see a little bit of the infinity gauntlet let's turn it around and get a better look at it you have the Avengers logo right there pretty cool pretty cool detail but here we go there's the conference room pretty cool there's a little spinning thing you can spin to get in there it's a, like a one-sided uh, entryway like that. And also, if you lift, lift up this table like that, there are a couple, there's a couple pistols in there just in case someone needs it. You can pop that back on there. You can see three minifigures in there with the three chairs. Let's look down here. Here you can see the computer I was talking about. And also, some lasers covering up the Infinity Gauntlet, which you can barely see right there. You can also pull it out here. There's a little latch on the wall. And here's my gauntlet. It's not complete because I don't have the Black Panther set from Infinity War, which is really annoying. But getting that soon, uh, I'll make a video about it. It's interesting because it's a Chinese set. So hopefully I don't get scammed. But let's look at the next part. This is just the garage where the car is not much to it in here just the car nothing else now let's spin it back around and look at this little part over here there's a bridge connecting the two parts up there but if we look down here there's a few weapons down here just on the side and there's another door right here you can open to get into the garage and the final thing over here, there's a little satellite disc, like a radar, just on the side. You can spin it around. Interesting set. Very interesting. I was not expecting this set at all. <laughs> it was very weird to come out, because this is not accurate at all, I believe. But it's a, it's a set. It's cool. And it gives you more characters so I guess but the characters aren't great so why did they make it I'm not sure why did they include quantum realm suits I don't know they just didn't want to make more prints maybe but altogether I this is one of the only sets I really wouldn't buy unless you really want an Avengers compound or you really want the Hulk big fig the Captain Marvel and the Iron Man in all in one set but other than that not much to it 
that's all for this video. Leave a like on the video, subscribe to my channel if you want to see more videos like this, and leave a comment down below any of the thoughts that you had about this set. I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.